The resultant of two vectors is the smallest when the angle between them is A, 0 degrees, B, 45 degrees, C, 90 degrees, or D, 180 degrees. If we choose two vectors, say the first one is 3 meters and the second one is 4 meters, and they can be oriented in any possible direction. And I'm going to make this one a little longer because that's 4 meters. It should be a little longer than the 3 meter one. Okay, so now if we oriented them at 0 degrees, it would give us a value of here, our resultant vector, if both laid in the same direction, would be 7 meters. If we laid it at, say, a 90 degree angle, so we have 3 meters down here, and we have 4 meters, our resultant would be 5 meters. So here we can see that we have a smaller resultant vector if it's 90 degrees out of phase. So the answer at 0 degrees is producing a larger value. So we know A is wrong. Uh, B would produce something along the lines of a resultant vector in this direction here because if we laid the green here at some 45 degree angle we would have a resultant vector along this line here. This would be greater than the 5 meters here also so we know that 45 is wrong. So, so far C, 9 degrees is our best answer. But if we now look at it in this way if we have 3 meters to the east and then we set our green vector here, the 4 meters, in uh, 180 degrees, we would find that our resultant is 1 meter to the west. This is smaller than the 5 meters, so we can see that the smallest possible value comes from subtracting the two vectors from one another. So our answer is D, 180 degrees. That would result in the smallest magnitude between the two vectors.